Monday morning, everyone. It is Glenny here at Inner Compass Yoga with Chilton Public Library welcoming you. And we are right now having a cloudy, misty, mm, sleepy Monday morning. So I thought it might be nice if we all started cross-legged on our mat, sitting tall with a blanket under you if you need to lift up a little bit to be able to easefully lengthen your neck because and back because we don't want struggle we want length and by waking up your lifting and supporting your lower pelvis your lower hips that can help you tilt and easefully lengthen so let's start by inhaling up and exhaling rounding and tucking your chin Inhale, lengthen, reaching tall from the crown of your head. And exhale, the curl. Inhaling, always lengthening. And exhaling. And we can even inhale through the nose as we lengthen. And exhale through the mouth. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I had a beautiful one. <laughs> Which is a wonderful thing. And then let's find our tall seated spot and we're going to circle around. Stir your pot. You can start small if your pot's a tiny little pot. If you have oatmeal simmering in your pot this morning and it's a little one, or maybe you have a big bubbling cauldron. Whatever your pot is today, enjoy stirring it with your torsal spoon. And maybe you're scraping the sides of it, kind of like when we do our uh, peanut butter jar. We're just doing this sitting up and feeling it different. And then go the other way, because it's always good to go both ways. Always nice. <sighs> Great way to start our week breathing movement fluidity into our bodies. Let's take our arms out like this. And we're going to inhale to the one side, exhale the other. Exploring a nice um, twist side to side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. tight spots. This is a nice way to just breathe breath and movement to open up our bodies. And then gradually bring it back. And take your hands to your knees, close your eyes, sit up tall as we just come into our breath. Inhaling through our nose, exhaling through your nose if you can this morning. Simply focusing on smoothing any ragged edges you might be feeling. So really think of a nice expansive three-dimensional inhale down into your belly, followed by a nice, full, easy exhale, complete. With each inhale, raising your rib cage up from the floor, crown of the head towards the sky, and exhaling tummy to spine, core connection empty. Three more breaths. Open your eyes and let's come to our bent knees, feet flat on the floor, hands under your knee creases. As again we continue our inhale length, exhale, roll it back and curl, tuck your chin. Inhale, lengthening, tall. Exhale, rolling back and straightening your arms. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, curling. Then 
let's switch for a little bit. Find your um, lift your feet up, and you can hold and give that you know hug in for that oppositional. Your your shins are parallel to the floor. We're sort of exploring a potential boat here. Maybe we'll go for a little row in a minute. You can take your keep your arms here. As, it, as you can see, when I do this and I pull, I can really lengthen and tallify my neck and crown my head action. And when I try and maintain that, I'll take one arm out, the other arm out, lengthening tall and holding that boat. Maybe you come down further. Wherever you are, that's where you are. Thinking of the nice long tallness. And then let's go for a little boat rock. Let's actually go for straighten one leg, bend it back. Straighten the other leg, bend it back. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bring it back. And then come back up. We're going to roly poly. Look behind you. Don't smack your head on anything. Always clear your surroundings. Check around you. I'm good. tall, shoulders down, length from the crown of the head up, and uh, let's take our right, hugging in both legs, both arms with your right knee, cross it over, and then give yourself a opposite arm, opposite leg hug, squeeze, flex the long foot, the long-legged straight leg foot, and just sort of gently see if you can spread your toes, <laughs> and then take your right arm, long in front of you and just follow its gaze with the hand, bring it back to you when you can, explore a nice twist. So you can stay hugged in here if you like, or you can take your elbow up, take it to the inside, and again, that little bit of oppositional gentle action where we're inhaling length and exhaling slight twist where you're looking out back behind your right shoulder. You might be on your, your back arm, might be straight, palm to the ground. You might be on your fingertips, exploring. So, again, always thinking of inhaling with length and expansiveness. And exhale, just a main maintenance of that expansiveness. And then if you're feeling a little movement, it can be a micrometer, it can be just little movements. I, I really like in my personal yoga practice to be breathing the movements gently rather than forcing ourselves into movements. And as we're here, let's inhale, look left, and exhale, arm and back. So we're going to explore our necks this morning. And explore your movement, your rotation, your ease and glide. And then come back to the center. Give your knee a hug into your chest and send it long. Nice. Sitting tall, feet flexed. Take your other leg over. Opposite arm, opposite knee, hug for that nice length. Breathing tallness and the length. And then exhale, look left. Well, we did this, we'll do this again. Don't look left, come back center. <laughs> Your left arm is long in front of you. You're just gonna take it back around. Follow it with your head, your eyes, and explore your twist here. Now again, you can keep hugging in as I am, or if you like, you can take your elbow up and create a slight um, gentle fulcrum here to explore what a deeper twist might feel like or could feel like. And always exploring with breath. So we inhale tall, exhale, look around to the left. And then we'll inhale, moving our neck, exploring our range of motion this morning. And the next time you come forward, Give your knee a hug in. Bring the other one up. Oh, give yourself a hug. And then let's 
find our way to all fours, where we can do our cat cow, first cat cow of the morning. But first, find, mindfully find your knees under your hips, palms under your elbows, under your shoulders. As we inhale, lengthen the spine, look up, and exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tail, push through the paws. Inhale, cow, looking up, relaxing the belly. Exhale, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, push through your hands, cat. Do that a couple more times with your breath. Really slowing it down so that your breath and your movement meet and match. And then the next time you come to your all fours, peanut butter jar. When we were stirring our pot, sitting up, we're going to do it now on our tabletop. Explore your peanut butter jar. There's no right or wrong here. It's all about exploring your Monday morning body. Go the other way, or whatever day it is, whatever time of the week. I just happen to be here on Monday morning. You can check it any time on the Chilton Public Library YouTube channel. There's all kinds of fun craft and go or yoga. There's some meditations there, guided meditations. So check it out. Now we're going to reconnect with our tabletop. And let's reach our right foot back, foot flex. Knee dial down so that it's gazing down at the ground. Long, strong, uh, weight evenly distributed on your tripod. And then bring it down. And then take your left foot back. Foot flex, heel reaching to the back wall. Kneel, again, the knee sort of dialed down to the face the ground. And then let's take it back. Wrap your tail a little bit side to side. And twist your body. Score a little bit. And this time we're going to take our right foot back, of course, and find your left arm, the, the balance, the balance pose. As we inhale, length, and exhale, the curl, knee to elbow. way to just sort of wake up this morning, stretch a little. And then also think since it is easy to be in our all four, easy to collapse down into our, let's sort of push through your hands and lift your scalp, lift yourself, push down as you don't collapse, but you push and lift. Nice. And then let's take our left foot back, heel reaching. Long, strong arm. Float your right arm long. We're going to inhale, length, and exhale the curl. Finding your balance this morning. It can be elusive, but it's there. You can tune in and find it. Graceful and long and parallel to the ground. Imagining what that feels like if it's not there. And then come back. Tuck your toes under. And sit back on your heels to stretch the bottoms of our feet. Shoulder rolls. And then staying in that place, let's play with our um, eagle arms. So our, we're stretching the bottoms of our feet. 
We're inhaling our arms up, and then we're exhaling right under the left, wrapping them up. Maybe the backs of your hands are greeting each other, and maybe you're wrapping them around like this. But elbows at armpit height, shoulder height, and take your palms and sort of push them forward a little bit, feeling that nice stretch across the back of your shoulders. And then let's inhale up, look up, and then exhale the left under the right. Oh, again, for that shoulder, nice shoulder stretch. Bringing it down, rock back onto your feet, maybe a hip distance apart, find your squat this morning. Where is your squat today? Let's find it. Maybe you're on your toes like this, or maybe you're on your feet. Wherever you are today, embrace it. There you are. Adjust. Find what's comfortable. And or find what's on the edge of comfortable. So you find your comfortable and then you play with you play the edges, the range within that place. So this is a great summer gardening pose. If any of you are out there picking your green beans, your pea pods, elbows are pressing out gently against your knees, inner knees, and those are hugging in, activating the inner leg muscles. And then as you're ready, let's find our way to standing. Ooh. And as we find our, again, the knocking on heaven's door, where we just embrace a little gentle torsional twist with some happy slapping. Happy slap. A loosey goosey. Then coming to glue your legs together, shoulders up around, down and back, reach to the crown of your head. Your eyes can stay open. Sometimes when you're in these standing poses, closing your eyes amplifies that sort of balance challenge. So that's completely up to you. It's fun to play with sometimes. Shoulders up, around, down, and back. Reach the crown of our head. We're going to inhale, look up, and exhale down. We're breast stroking through the atmosphere this morning. Inhale, exploring and reaching up, and exhaling, bringing it back down. Inhale. Down, sort of really exploring and expanding your own personal bubble and expanding into that space, filling that space with your magnificence. Mm. One more. And then we're going to inhale, look up. And hands together, exhale it down to a forward fold, knees bent, soft. And again, we're going to do our hands, heels, we're going to inhale a flat back, and exhale, rolling and curling it down. So basically inhaling, lengthening the legs and the neck and the back, and exhale, curling and rolling it down. So inhaling extension, whatever that means to you this morning, and exhale your body. Some mornings are stiffer than others, and even within the same day, you can have fluid moments and stiff moments. This is all about breathing ease into those moments. And then let's take our um, those are fingertips, hands, fingertips. We're going to bend, we're bent, 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 belly on the thighs. Take your right leg back, standing, and your hips are parallel to the ground. And again, our knee is, standing knee is slightly bent. We're going to, again, and you can have blocks here if you want blocks here. Blocks are good. We can inhale, straightening the knee, and exhale, soften it. The tall, long leg is Heel flexed, reaching back. And then when you find your place, you can ground down with your left arm. And if you like, let's just explore a half moon. We haven't done this yet before. And a block or a book or a chair under this left grounded arm 
is a good thing. If you want to play around with that. And then exhale, bring it back down. Take your hands behind belly, just soft knees, belly to the thighs. Inhale the lengthening. Exhale the easing, the curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. One more. And then bring your hands in front of you again under your shoulders. As you shift your weight onto your right leg, take your left leg back. Your toes are pointing to the ground. Heel flex, reaching back to the back wall. And again, that standing leg is sort of bent. So we're going to inhale, lengthen the standing leg. Exhale, soften and bend. Knees might, some knees might not like this as much. So listen to your body. Play with what works for you. And then as you're ready, you can ground down. Maybe you're on your palms, a book, your knuckles, whatever you got. And we go sideways. So you take your left arm up to the sky. You can look down to the ground. Half moon. Fly, spread your wings, and as you're ready, bring it down, and find a squat. Here we are. You can just pause. And then we're going to find our way onto our bellies for some Belly moments. Take your left cheek to the ground. You're long on your mat. You're on your belly. Can you see me? I hope so. So first, just relax here. Take three nice long breaths. Then take your other cheek to the ground. Turn your head. Three nice long deep breaths. And then bend your elbows. Take your paws, your hands, to your lower ribs, your chest area, your forehead to the mat. And your elbows are hugging together and also down towards your hips. And your legs glued together. Tops of your feet onto the ground. We're going to inhale. Look up and reach up with your face looking up. Exhale halfway down so your forehead's parallel. Inhale, look up again. And exhale, take your right cheek to the ground. Take a breath. Inhale, using your back muscles, just lift yourself up, looking up. Exhale, tuck your chin, forehead parallel to the ground. Inhale, looking up again, and exhale, look to the right. Pause, take a breath. Inhaling, looking up, lifting your chest, raising your gaze. Exhaling, tuck your chin, parallel forehead. Inhale, looking up, and exhale to the left. Let's push up to our all fours. Take your knees wide and find your child's pose. Walk your fingers forward. Coming back to all fours. Let's find our way onto your mats on your back this time. If your knees bent, we'll do some bridges. So here we are on our mat. Back long, palms down, feet comfortably close to your sit bones. And today we're going to inhale, push through your feet, raise your hips to the sky as your arms come up and over your head and touch the floor behind you. And then exhale, lower, synchronizing the arm lowering with the vertebra lowering. 
And we're linking our inhale to our rising up. And our exhale to our unfurling down. Taking the time to link our movement with our breath. with your breath. And then take your left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. Long, straight arms as we inhale, length. And exhale, hug the thighs in towards the belly. Apanasana. Inhaling, lengthening the arms. Exhale, hugging in a gentle low back stretch. And the next time you straighten your arms, take your arms out to a T, palms up or down whatever feels right to you. We're going to take the palms up just for fun and play with it. We're going to inhale center. Exhale your knees over to the right towards your right elbows on the ground. And then inhale to center and exhale the other way. So you're always looking the opposite way to your knees. So if your knees go right, your gaze goes left. It's just a nice gentle way to twist your Ring your towel. Next time you come left and look right, let's pause and just stay there for at least three breaths. Imagine your, your knees are to the left, you're looking right. Your right shoulder is rounded or on the floor. On your next inhale, come back to center. And exhale, knees right, gaze left. Trying to think about keeping your left shoulder on the ground. Inhaling center, come to the right and push your way up to your seated place. As we, together, find a comfortable, easy seated place. You could be sitting on your knees, you can be sitting cross-legged, you can be sitting on a chair, you can be sitting wherever it's comfortable for you to sit. Close your eyes, hands on your knees as together we sit tall. Inhaling length from the base of our spine all the way out to the crown of our head. And exhaling ease. Maintaining the ease with an inhale. And exhaling calm. Take your hands together at your heart. And inhale kindness as we cultivate kindness this Monday morning. Kindness in our hearts. <clears throat> Bringing your thumbs to your mouth, kindness in your words, <clears throat> and to your forehead, kindness in your thoughts. Put your hands overhead in a V, nice kindness V for victory, as I wish you all a great week. So inhabit your space, breathe kindly and deeply and fully, and enjoy these moments we have together. All the best to you. Namaste. And like I said, if you would like more yoga or meditation or craft and go activities, all you need to do is visit the Chilton Public Library YouTube channel and uh, we have things for you there. So all the best to you. See you next week. Bye.